Hi guys, welcome to 3dprinterschool.com for this step two. After you have built a completely square frame, we're gonna go ahead and mount the uh, bed part of it. This is where the bed will go on top. So all the stuff you'll need before you begin, you'll need an M5-16, uh, and also you'll need the 90 degree angles. Also you need the M510, also M5 T-nut, and you'll need a one millimeter spacer, M5 one millimeter spacer. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and connect the 90 angle to the ends here using M516. You'll need four of these. And you can put it aside. So connect one of the ends here and okay try to make it square by placing on us on your table square doesn't matter super square but it's nice to have it square go ahead and connect the other end and try to square this up on your table also All right, when you're done, you should have a piece like this that goes right over like that. Okay, do the same thing for this other guy. All right, in this next step, you're gonna put place two T-nuts here and in the back. So you need four T M5 T-nuts. And we're just gonna mount this on there. You can go ahead and use a thinner Allen key here, Allen wrench. Go ahead and insert it and just sort of get it in there and slide it. Anything over here. Slide it. We can move these later so it doesn't have to be exact, but you can go ahead and measure out approximately. Okay, we'll just mount it first. Also put it on the other hand over there. And we'll align them about the same and put the holes in. Uh, so it's aligned to the T5 peanuts. You need four of these. Four M510. And I'm just gonna screw these in maybe halfway so I can move it. It'll be super tight right at this moment. So you'll see the alignment, um, they'll give you this alignment in the Voron documentation. Um, so half the printer, so mine is a 350, so it's gonna be 255. Uh, I wanna measure it out to, uh, let's say this edge here. So it's gonna be from this edge to here, it's gonna be 255 minus 65, which can be 190, all right? So I'm gonna make, Go ahead and use a ruler and later on you may have to change it a little bit so don't worry too much about this step as I have to change it. But I'm gonna go ahead and mark this at exactly 190. Align it with the ruler. Align it with the ruler, always best. Have much better results here. 90 there. Alignment, the ruler, 190 there. Let me do double check over on this side. We need 190 from the end. Precisely right here from the frame. So I'm gonna be posting my mistakes on also because 
even though you're building this Voron, you're gonna make mistakes. And you may have to backtrack a couple times, even if it's, you know, not your first time, but... Okay, this one's in the way of my ruler a little bit. Move it out of the way. Okay, there we go. 190. Here. And I'm ready to go. I'm just going to simply align them the way I align them. And we should be good to go. So let me bring this guy up to that line. Exactly. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this. Side. And also the other side. That's all. Let me align the second one. Okay, those are done. So at this point, guys, uh, there is no front or back until you put the uh, bottom panel on. All of this is square. There is only this and there can be front and back. You don't want to mount the other stuff front and back. These are just going to be your sides. Now, before we go into step three, uh, I would actually recommend to install the bottom panel before you install the linear rails. Also, if you have trouble with alignment, you can go ahead and fix it right now. Also, because you have to flip the frame, it's better to install the bottom panel first. So let's go ahead and install the bottom panel. So flip it over. In this next step, grab the bottom panel, right? And it can be either direction because you haven't chose the front and back. So I'm gonna just make that back and just slip it in there. And make sure you can move it around and you'll be able to see um, exact, it's aligned exactly. Mine is aligned exactly. And I can go ahead and drop in four T M5, T5, M5, T5, no, M5, T nuts. So grab four of these. And also before you do it, take all the plastic off the panels here. Let's take the plastic off first. Because if you forget, it might melt later. While, while you print. Take the plastic off both sides. Got a nice, nice color there. Look at that. It's looking very nice. Okay, and make sure it's in there. And we're gonna go ahead and drop in some T5 nuts. We go ahead and drop in these T nuts. And you can see they're aligned perfectly. And if you don't see the frame inserts, then go ahead and re double check that you did the measurement uh, in the earlier step in this video. Okay, just align them somewhat center, obviously. And you're gonna grab the end rails. Align them along here. All right, it should be 90 degrees from the rail, the bed mounts. 
All right, and you're gonna go ahead and use four M510, and you should be good to go. Use one, two, three, four. And if the alignment's off, try flipping it. Then you should be able to insert it. Ooh, that's a little odd. Okay, it might barely fit. Yeah, it fits. It sort of barely fits. Okay. And boom shakalaka, you are done with the bottom panel with the DIN rail installed. Now you should have it. Now wherever you put this center back hole is going to be now your back. This is where your bed wire is going to come. This is where all of your uh, motor access accessory wire is going to come through and go to the controller here. So I'm going to flip it back over. And we are ready to go to the next step. We'll be installing, um, we'll call that step three. We'll be installing some uh, linear rails, right? Now you should have the front, the back with the DIN rails installed like that. And we're gonna go, ready to go to the next step. That should have took you less than 20 minutes to uh, install this and also the bottom mounts. Also one more thing, grab your a heat bed and make sure the holes align all right mine lines perfectly if they don't align they're a little bit off this should be okay but if they're off by a lot later on your bed's not gonna fit so make sure it's aligned and mine aligns pretty good i'm gonna set that aside for another day